So, good morning everybody. Tere hommikust. My name is Ten Salver and I'm the industry director of the Tallinn Black Knights Film Festival, um, as well as the programmer um, of the European Film Forum Tallinn 2015. To begin, actually, I would like to thank you, the, uh, the European Commission, and especially the DG Connect unit, and Lucia Ricalde and her team, uh, for granting us this uh, great opportunity, but I guess also a responsibility um, to organize this forum in, here in Tallinn. The DSM strategy, which we are going to debate, argue, agree, perhaps disagree on, was launched in, in May. And, of course, as you might know from the press, um, it has received a quite a tumultuous um, applause, so to speak. But I mean, what I would like to argue here is that the question really is not, uh, you know, whether DSM or whether not DSM, but I suppose when we're putting together a program here, realize that there is something more at the stake. There is this some very interesting factor or a player in Europe that's smashing the cards, and it's called technology. So I'll just give you a few very interesting facts. So last year alone, there were more pictures taken than in the whole 19th century. There was 15 people who programmed Instagram, which has right now 130 million users. People spent 200 million hours on Facebook last year, which is time, many, many times more than building the whole Panama Canal. And this process actually is escalating. And what we're talking about here is the so-called second machine age, where technology is taking increasingly, increasingly over. So the question here is that, how do we address this change of technology escaping us? And you know, how we can talk to an audience that literally has born an iPhone on one hand and an iPad on another hand? I suppose festivals really are an interesting place where all these forces come together. Um, festivals started out 100 years ago as celebrations for national cinema, then they became temples for auteurs, then they became red carpet markets, and now perhaps festivals are being, becoming a, a kind of like a nucleus, which kind of sucks all that influence in. So we are responsible for the filmmakers and producers of showing their art and making it happen. We are also responsible for the audience of, of respecting their wishes and seeing where the audience goes. And of course, we are dependent and we have to keep a watchful eye on technology, where technology is heading. So, again, I would like to come back uh, to the point that there is much more at stake than DSM or not to DSM. I also suppose that Tallinn is a great place of asking these questions because we are rather radical. We are a known country which population to die out, so we start giving out the residency. We are also a country that you know, conquered Europe by doing some vice transfers on banking. Um, and we are also a bunch of very arrogant people who, who made a small film festival on the outskirts of Europe, which suddenly became an A-class. So I guess the energy is here. So, to, to play out this debate, um, and actually to ask this question that how do we address this future, we're so happy to feature almost 30 speakers, you know, connected from filmmakers, producers, politicians, technology specialists, um, venture capitalists, uh, university professors, artists, and more and more and more. So I guess together we could try to figure out um, where Europe should be heading in this kind of digital race. And of course, lastly, it's no coincidence that I'm staying, standing here on a stage filled with leaves in an old house, um, an old theater called No 99, which has a very technological spirit. Because similarly, for us, the organizers, it seems that Europe is also a quite a venerable theater house filled with leaves that calls from some new digital playwrights. So I hope you enjoy the conference. And to get it going, I have the pleasure of having a little video introduction from Lord David Putnam. Thank you.